In this video, I will try to show you how to hike the Pico to Pico on Madeira, one of the best day hikes of the island. First, what is the Pico to Pico on Madeira? Madeira is a Portuguese island located in the Atlantic Ocean. It's quite remote, very far off the coast of Portugal. The Pico to Pico is the hike from Pico de Arero to Pico Ruvo and back. It's an 11 km hike from the second highest mountain of the island to the highest mountain of the island. It leads you next to steep drop-offs, beautiful views and a nice physical challenge. It's 11 km with a little bit more than 1000 meters of elevation gain. It's a very popular hike, it takes you from the Pico de Arero all the way over these ridges to the Pico Ruvo, the highest peak of the island. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing these names wrong, my Portuguese is not so good. How to get to this beautiful day hike? Well, it's located on Madeira, a small island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Most people fly there with the layer in Lisbon. Then you arrive in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, the birthplace of Cristiano Ronaldo. The island is basically one big mountain and because of its shape you have a very warm southern side and quite a bit more rain and green on the north side of the island. So you fly to Madeira Island and you land on the Cristiano Ronaldo airport from where you can take a, your hired car or a bus to the capital of Funga, also the biggest town. From there on it's only a little bit more than 30 minutes of driving to the starting point of the hike, the Pico do Arairo. The roads are quite steep, you have to be comfortable driving on steep and mountainous roads. If you don't want to rent a car, you have multiple options. You can either take a bus, the N56, which leaves you to Poiso. But from there on, you still have six and a half kilometers to go to the starting point of the hike. You can walk this, but I wouldn't really recommend this because the hike itself is quite uh, exhausting enough. There are a lot of cars going there. So if you try hitchhiking, you will probably be picked up quite soon. Another option is to take a taxi. I think one way with a taxi costs around 30 or 40 euros. Two other options are organized tours. One is just a drop off, which you can or organize with Get Your Guide. And the other option is doing the whole hike with a guide. So those are basically the options on how to get to the Pico de Herrero. So a summary of the hike. It's an 11 kilometer hike with about 1200 meters of elevation gain. It brings you from the second highest mountain of the island to the highest mountain. And on the same route, you will go back to your starting point. As you can see, there's a lot of climbing up and down to get to your destination and back. And also on Google Earth, you can see the steep drop-offs, which you will follow all the way until you reach the highest peak of the island, Pico Ruvo. From there on, you will have beautiful views all around, if it's not cloudy. But the same goes for Pico de Arero. Even though it seems quite dangerous and scary, it's quite safe to do because there are barriers or fences everywhere. So you won't have to worry. But the views are incredible because of these steep drop-offs. So as you can see, there's a lot of going down in the beginning. Then you start climbing, going down again and climbing to the highest peak. And then you just have to walk the same way back to get to Pico de Arero and where you parked your car or where you will be picked up. You can, Organize your pickup at the end point, Pico Ruvo. So you descend here and you don't have to walk all the way back. But if you're fit enough, I would encourage you to walk back as well because the starting point near Pico de Herrero is very beautiful and you want to hike there twice to enjoy it fully. Uh, another fun detail about the hike, you're going through a lot of tunnels, the longest being I think 150 meters. So bring th something which is a source of light, like a flashlight for example. This is enough, a phone is enough, but you can bring torches or a headlamp of course. Is this hike for you? If you're fit and not afraid of heights, this is for you. There will be a lot of climbing stairs and descending stairs involved. And on the short distance, you're climbing quite a lot. So if you have knee problems, it's probably not the best hike for you. It might be wise to stay near Pico de Arriero. But if you're not extremely afraid of heights and you like a challenge and you don't mind going through dark tunnels, this is for almost everybody. The views are just incredible. When to do this hike? Well, the seasons on Madeira are all quite nice, except for the fact that in the fall you have a little bit more rain and in the winter it gets a bit colder. It doesn't really get cold. I think it will stay above 15 degrees Celsius quite a lot. And in the summer it's nice because it doesn't get too hot. So that's also very nice. You can do this trip year round, but 
Keep in mind that in the fall it rains a bit more, in the winter it gets a little bit colder and in the summer it can be quite warm because you're really exposed on this ridge. But when we were there in June uh, the temperature was very nice. It was warm but not too hot and because of the strong winds from the ocean it cooled down quite a bit. Then a very important detail, because it's a very popular hike I would advise to go there on sunrise. Watch the sunrise from Pico de Herrero and start walking or even do the first half an hour while it's still dark so you can see the sunrise when you're already a little bit further away from the people. Uh, don't go when it's pitch black because the drop-offs are steep and potentially dangerous. The sunset is very beautiful from there as well but you want to be back before the sun sets otherwise it's quite risky. So I would advise sunrise you can have the whole day and you can start early to beat the crowds. But if you're nearby and you want to see the sunset, you can just come back for the sunset and watch it from Pico de Herrero, from where it's very beautiful. Look at the webcam, so you know if it's cloudy or not. The peaks of Madeira are hidden in the clouds quite a lot, so you don't want to drive all the way there to arrive and see there's no visibility. We had that once, I will show the differences, so if you have the chance, look at the webcam, look at the weather forecast and go when it's clear, or at least when you're above the clouds. What gear should you bring? Well, as always, I would advise to wear light hiking shoes or trail running shoes. Don't bring the big bulky shoes because the train is not technical at all. Don't go on sneakers without grip because of the weather and the fog it can get quite slippery. So then bring sunscreen. Use it a lot because the sun is very strong there. You won't notice it because there's an ocean breeze, but you are getting burned very fast. And take plenty of water. There are no water sources until the Rivujo near the Pico Ruvo. So after you have done five kilometers, that's where you can get fresh water. But only there, so make sure you bring enough. The hike itself takes some hours. I think most people will do it in four to six hours. So it's very important to bring your sunscreen and your water because otherwise you will have problems. Also food. There are no food sources of course, no shops on the way, so bring enough food for yourself. And then some of the highlights. After already 800 meters, you will find the first famous balcony viewpoint. Very nice place, take your time here and enjoy the views. Then a little bit further, after I think one and a half kilometers, you will find these special stairs. And these are really incredibly nice, especially if you have a drone or a 360 camera, take your time here because it's beautiful for sure. Then a little bit further you will find these letters down which are very nice and it makes you feel like you're on Hawaii. Then you walk 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 through some nice very deep tunnels until you have to climb some letters up and finally make it all the way to Pico Ruevo. From where you have beautiful 360 around views because you're at the highest place of the island. So you walk 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 all the way and the views are just beautiful all around. So this is basically where you're hiking. Just beautiful in the middle of the ocean. A really special place. Then, last question, do you need a guide? I would certainly say no, you don't need a guide. There's no way to walk the wrong direction. It could be nice to use a guide if you use it for transport as well and if you want to know more about the environment, of course. But the hike, itself is not a technical, you can't go on the wrong route, so it's quite an easy hike to do on yourself. Almost everybody does it there. So I would really advise you to fly to Madeira and hike the Pico to Pico. It's truly one of the most beautiful day hikes maybe in the world because it's so special. Uh, the weather changes daily, so make sure you plan multiple days to have the availability go to go there if the webcam shows it's nice weather. You can also combine it with quite a lot more beautiful hikes in the area. If you like this travel guide, please subscribe and give it a like. You can also check out my other travel guides and other hiking videos, of course. I've been to Madeira in 2021 and I made a video about it as well. Thanks for watching and I hope you can plan the Pico to Pico quite soon.